finally back home after a really really long day I'm going to show you guys what I ended up purchasing today this really cheap like awesome cut long sleeved jumper in this I don't it it's like this really pale white to pink color I call it like it's even like maybe even a cream what a steal oh I bought this uh kimono cardigan as well and I'm pretty sure that was $15 as well next from the list is I don't know if you guys can see this already I I saw this the first time I went there didn't know if I wanted it completely then I went back in 30% off plus the 8% off tax so it ended up being like 200 bucks or 250 not even I went to one of those uh, old school vintage places and cop this Bulls champion jumper sweater last on the list I'll show you guys this is one of my biggest purchases yet whilst I've been here I got this bag this LV duffel bag look at the size of it that's my hand and this is the duffel it's amazing absolutely crazy I probably could fit honey and biggie in this or I could even probably fit Philly in this I'm really excited because I always wanted one and now I finally got one good afternoon guys very late out in today it's been raining we were supposed to go to Disneyland today but clearly that's not happening it was yeah not the greatest weather to go and we didn't feel like it would be enjoyable if there was rain if that makes any sense I'm not even gonna tie my hair today you know what I love about Japan no one cares no one judges you everyone looks cool everyone looks different everyone's just like each to their own sort of thing I feel fully hype like fully hype beast today like some days I'm like you know what am I pushing the limits of being a crazy hype beast today I'm definitely pushing that limit but as I said, in Japan, no one really cares. So, I need to go buy stock for the store, so I bring my big ass duffel bag so I can fit all that stuff in. It's gonna be a good day, bye. Yeah. This Unico is sick. Has all this Monster Ink Marvel it has like crazy Mickey Mouse collab. I think I really like this t-shirt. I might get one of these and I'm trying to find one for Philly as well. Because look how cool they are. They're so dope. And they still have the Snoopy and Cause collection right here. They don't have any more plush toys. I did look for the plush toys. Ah, oh, I didn't see this Cause collection. That's different. So cool. So cool. And it's so cheap here. Because it's like only 12 bucks. Look. It's only like $12. Checking out Shinjuku's Adidas store. Supposedly this one's the best one. Because the last time I came here, it was freaking crazy. They had everything still sitting on shelf. Let's roll right through. Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Adidas, it just still has all those NMDs, as you guys can see. Just the gum ones, all those. Oh, sorry to interrupt your current viewing of the vlogs, guys. This is obviously the YouTube comment like section of this vlog yeah okay first question is I have not seen this username before but I'm gonna shout you out right now Christopher hey how I'm going to Tokyo again this summer loved it the first time are there any consumer shops you really recommend how much was the red jacket you ended up buying uh, I really love and I'm glad that people love Japan as well I, I love this place I really really do I've contemplated about moving here for a while and if I possibly can, I will be. Not even for like a year or so, maybe for like three months, just to embrace it all. Like it's such a good culture here. Like I, I said this before on the vlogs, fashion and all that, and all the easy accessibility, all the cool brands, it's, it's a plus. But culture is five times better, like five more thumbs up or 10. Yeah, uh, okay. Consumption shops I really, I really re recommend is that uh, Reich Rekin. It's previously on this vlog. If you watch in this vlog, you'll see it. That's one of them. And 
the brands one there's a few of them that you'll notice that there's like a chain store and it won't be hard to not find them also I paid I think 220 for that supreme uh, jacket and I'm pretty sure that's retail or just a bit over retail those ones like there's heaps of consignment stores in Harajuku Shibuya uh, Shinjuku all those types of places you can't miss them trust me there's consignment for stores for like LV bags, Chanel bags, high-end stuff, and to streetwear, everything. Everything here, nearly everything here, or every single shop here, is a consignment store, and you won't, uh, won't miss out, to be honest. The bottom one here, next question, sorry. Tylin Curti. Do you know of any YouTubers who will be coming to SneakerCon Melbourne? There's a few people that I already know that might be coming. Uh, Kwas Omar is going to be one. Uh, uh, Teddy, the boost god, I know he is on the list as well. Uh, a few other, I think Crew Kicks, the whole Crew Kicks, and Kicks on Fire. Um, I'm, I think Flight Brothers are coming. There's a few of them that I, I follow, and I've like seen them drop hints. I think Richie Lee and the Fung Bros are coming down as well. But don't quote me on, on any of these, because I've just been following their YouTubes, and they've been just dropping hints. Next question is Henna's, right there. I just picked up a bait hoodie for 230. Do you think that's a good price? It's the bait half black zoom multi camo sleeve shark hoodie. 230 American for a shark hoodie is good. 230 Australian for a shark hoodie is a steal. And I might be worried that it's fake. So just be sure that you all you guys always legit check your stuff prior purchasing. I personally do not do legit checks, so guys, I know a lot of you guys hit me up ask me to do legit checks but I do tell you guys if I do do legit checks a thousand people will be asking me and I'm not an expert I mean I know so much but I don't want to one day go hey you know what this is real and it ends up being fake or this is fake and it ends up being real and it just it's a really like gray area for me so I just don't do it at all next on the list uh, Tommy Zhao damn what are the what store are those Tokyo Fives in? Can you link their store name below? The store name was Blows, B-L-O-W-Z and that was in Harajuku that had the Tokyo Fives and that's where I bought my Supreme jacket. Any other questions? Let's see. I, do you know what? Ian, I like this comment and I wish I had more time in Japan to do this and I have a feeling it would be a great idea. He wrote, Dope Vlog. Would you make a Where Do Hype Beast Go in Japan? Would get heaps of view in my opinion. Yes, it would get heaps of view. I did not have a cameraman that I could use and walk around. I know Jamie's a professional YouTuber, rah, rah, this and that. But at the same time, he needs to do what he needs to do. I need to do what I need to do. And we just didn't have enough time to drop a video like that. But sooner or later, I honestly, when I travel more, I will do videos like that so you guys know where to cop stuff. But if you guys watch like my Singapore, Thailand, uh, whatever places I do travel to, I usually show you guys throughout the whole vlog where I go so it shouldn't be hard for you guys to figure it out. Anyway, I appreciate you guys. Honestly, you guys are seeing this a day late. But this is my last day, like last actual day in Japan. I have my suitcase on this side, as you guys can see, already packed, ready to go. I hope you guys have been enjoying these Japan vlogs. I hope you guys have been enjoying Philly's vlogs as well in Melbourne. Uh, give it a big thumbs up. I hope you guys are loving this. Comment anything you guys want below, and you guys will get into this section. All right, hit that subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that bell button. If you are a subscriber, trust me, hit that bell button. Let's thumbs up, comment. Let's get back to the vlog. <sighs> Stan Smith, nothing exciting yet. Yeah. Going to check out this place. Every time you see a bring men's buy and sell or whatnot, that's a consignment store. But check out the outfit for today. So dope. That was honestly a fail. I went to that store. The store was not even bigger than the exclusive store. It wasn't bigger than this freaking elevator and they barely had anything in it. I have no idea if this lift is moving. Oh, alright, bye guys. Straight outside, there's another ring can sort of place. So let's uh, check this place out. Oh, this looks smaller as well. I'm surprised in Japan they have a Barney's. This is cool. Alright, let's see if I get told off. Oh. 
quickly we're in Barney's before I get told off but look at the wall of sneakers they have and look at all this crazy shit I shouldn't be vlogging here but I really want this Garfield t-shirt though I might pick this up later back in Shibuya and I'm gonna try to find Philly at present. This whole day is just gonna be planned around Philly and I'm just gonna buy whatever I need now because tomorrow is gonna to be a crazy day and we don't have time. Sundays when we fly out, we fly out at six o'clock. So all I have to do is clean up the room and stuff like that. Honestly, this is the last day of actual shopping that I can possibly do. Let's go. Just left the babe store. I try to find like a pink t-shirt for Philly because Philly really likes those, um, those pink, I don't know what the hell they're called, but the pink bay pet ball will never go ran over by a car. But anyway, couldn't find it here, so I'm gonna find her something else. Some of you guys have asked what the store's names. This is the biggest chain, I reckon, I think. I'm not 100% sure of consignment shops. That's where me and Jamie, and we've been to all of them. They're really, really good. I, I really like it. The price is a bit high, but some of the stuff like Supreme obviously is going to be expensive, but Bape and Y3 and YSL and, and all that top end brand, CDG, it's really good. That's the store. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can figure it out. That chain right there. I just left this place. It's called like Mega and I bought so many gifts for Philly. So many. Like my whole bag is full. And that's that G7X that I bought for Jamie. Damn, I'm so excited for Philly. Going back to the number one ramen spot ever. So, all these ramen spots are usually you just go to a vending machine, you put some money in, and you press what you like. Take my money. What the hell's wrong with my left hand? Yes, thank you. All right, so I just want that, that, that. And that's it. Give me my change. Oh, that's a bit strange. What do you ask this? What the hell? Why? Why, please? If someone explain to me why do you need 12? I got the visa on us. Not like, they're like, I mean, I would get that the doesn't happen for Kill that! Another day, another ramen. Let's roll. I love this cubicle. Like, it's just like my own little cubicle. Last day in Japan. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a hand on that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button just down there. Hit that bell button, notifies you every single time we release brand new videos. This is a very awkward angle. I'm like, what am I showing you guys? My suitcase? Just to prove that it's the last day, but you guys are seeing this a day prior. Oh, sorry. Ooh, that smell. Oh, that was bad. It smelled like Red Bull. Yes, I'm drinking Red Bull. All right, I'll speak to you guys on tomorrow's vlog. Hit that subscribe button, bell button, thumbs up button. What the hell is wrong with me? I just need to go home. I'm really homesick right now. Whew. Enjoy, guys. Bye.